Bienvenidos a Cultura, Gobierno y Sociedad por Canada Latin Channel. Yo soy Héctor Chaparro. Quiero, el día de hoy traemos una entrevista muy importante con el ministro Ahmed Hussein, quien es el ministro de Vivienda, de Inclusión también y de eh, en el gobierno federal. Así que el día de hoy vamos a estar platicando acerca del nuevo presupuesto 2022 que se aprobó y que, bueno, trae muchísimos beneficios para la gente joven, para la vivienda, y obviamente esta es la cartera del ministro Ahmed Hussein, a quien quiero traer a la pantalla y quiero pues darle la bienvenida a esta plataforma digital. Minister, thanks for being here again in Canada Latin Channel. Welcome back. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Minister, I, I was talking in Spanish about the new budget we have. And this is very important because a lot of, uh, of people will be benefit of this, housing and young people, all that kind of thing. So yes. talk to us about what exactly is this our new budget and uh, what kind of people they're going to help? Uh, first of all, the budget, uh, budget 2022 uh, is about doing four things in okay. the housing sector. Number one, uh, you know, Canada has the fastest growing population in the G7 countries. But our supply of new housing has been slower than the increase of the population. So we need to double the number of new homes built in Canada. And Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has promised that our government, the government of Canada, will lead a national effort to double uh, the number of new homes built in Canada in the next 10 years. So we, aim, we are aiming to build 3.2 million homes over the next 10 years. Uh, as a first step, The government of Canada is taking leadership by putting on the table four billion dollars, uh, going directly to municipalities to enable them to build 100,000 new homes within two years by 2024, and that money is supposed to go into the roadblocks and the barriers that prevent the building of more housing supply and the building of that supply faster. So we will be investing directly to. To, to speed up those processes. Number two, we're going to be helping first-time home buyers. This is really important because we want to make sure that people who don't own a home and who want to uh, own a home and, and achieve their dream of home ownership can still do that. So we are going to be introducing a tax-free savings account of up to $40,000 for first time home buyers so that's forty thousand dollars going in and tax it's tax free going into the account and tax free coming out uh, that's quite significant oh and then, yeah in, a, in addition good. to that the same people first time home buyers we're going to help them by doubling the tax credit they get there's a tax credit called the first time home buyer tax credit which is meant to help you pay for all the expenses that come with purchasing a home, like, for example, paying the lawyer, paying the real estate agent, paying the property taxes, paying the land transfer tax, and so on and so forth. Title insurance, uh, home insurance, all that. So we're going to be doubling that tax credit, putting money back directly in those in the pockets of those first-time home buyers, and doubling that tax credit to $10,000. And then finally, There's a program called the First Time Home Buyer Incentive, where the government of Canada will pay will 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 pay up to 10% of the value of the home in the form of a down payment uh, for first time home buyers. Uh, that program will be extended to 2025. So when you take all those three programs, they will make a big difference. The third thing we're doing is tackling speculation and 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 introducing more fairness for home buyers. One, we're going to ban blind bidding. You know, if you and I go to a car auction and we're trying to buy a car, I know exactly how much you're bidding and, you're an ex and you know exactly how much money I am offering. But when we try to buy a house, you, I don't know how much you're offering and you don't know how much I'm offering. Yeah. That's not fair. So we want to make the process more fair, more transparent, more open. Because blind bidding has led to too much increase in the in the in the home, in the price of homes uh, we are banning foreign ownership of residential real estate not commercial residential real estate for the next two years and that will free up more homes to be bought by canadians and permanent residents and so on and lastly we are going to tackle all the other 
issues around speculation in the real estate sector. The final thing we're going to do is we're going to increase our investments in affordable housing, building homes to find permanent housing solutions for homeless individuals, building deeply affordable homes, building more co-op houses, building more rapid housing. We've been already doing that, but now we're doing more of that. So, so we're tackling housing challenges across the spectrum. So for those who are looking to buy a home, we're going to help them. For those who are looking to rent, we'll build more affordable rent. For those who are, who are on the street, we, 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 we will tackle homelessness and give them permanent housing solutions. So this budget is, is really incredible when you look at how we've been able to really address all of the housing needs of Canadians across the spectrum. Minister, do you know how many people will be uh, directly uh, get a uh, benefit of this uh, a new benefit, if I can say that? I mean, uh, how, yeah. many, how many people will be? Well, uh, 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 an estimate, example, of course, right. Yeah, for, I, mean, I mean, for the Housing Accelerator Fund, as I said, it will build 100,000 homes. Usually, the calculation is that for every home that's built, it's going to benefit three people. So that's 300,000 people. Yeah. And then if we double the number of homes uh, to 3.2 million, that's times three. That's nine point, uh, sorry, <laughs> uh, 10, point, uh, 10 million people uh, will benefit from those kinds of uh, measures. There is also the first-time home buyer incentive and the tax-free savings account. We don't know how many people will use it, but we know a lot of people who are looking to buy a house Yeah. Uh, need help and so we're going to be helping them and then by curbing speculation by banning foreign ownership by ending blind bidding we will enable more homes to come on the market so supply building more supply and dealing with some of the speculation will help very very a lot of people minister uh this is a um, a good good budget because as you said it, it will help a lot of lot of families a lot of people but um what is the message of this budget, I mean, behind of this budget with all the Canadians. I know uh, you guys as a government, you have a lot of retractors right now, but I mean, this is one of the best things I heard in the federal government. What is the message of the Prime Minister Justin Trudeau to help the people? Uh, it means that the government of Canada will be there for you. We promised these things during the election campaign, and now we're delivering. We're keeping our promises. We want to make sure that we support families, we support young people, we support seniors, and we end chronic homelessness in Canada. This is a promise that we made, and we're going to get the job done. That's that's a good good choice, and that's a good good news for for people who uh, never had a a house. And and uh, this is particular budget, it, it will help uh, those those guys, those people who who need uh, buy a house. And with that with that help. I, I think you are you are doing a great great job, Minister. Thank you so much, Minister. Something something else you want to add before we end the interview? Well, I just wanted to highlight the fact that this budget is about affordability, helping people with the cost of living. You know, we've brought in uh, a national early learning and childcare program ac yeah. across every province and territory in Canada, including where you are in Alberta, and families are already starting to see the savings. We've promised that. Childcare fees will be cut in half by the end of this year, and we will work towards bringing childcare fees down to ten dollars a day uh, in the next in the in the in the next little while. And in provinces like Alberta, they're already seeing those savings. Yes. So imagine if you have a you know two kids and you're paying you know sixty dollars for each kid. That's one hundred twenty dollars a day. If if that is if those fees are cut in half, that's sixty dollars a day going back into your pocket. And you know, for a lot of families who have one or more kids in daycare, it's like a, it's like a second mortgage. So we're helping put that money back in their pockets. And when we bring the fees down to ten dollars a day, imagine the savings. I mean, uh, for that family with two kids who are paying one hundred twenty dollars, they'll only pay twenty dollars. One hundred dollars every day will go back into their pocket. That's a huge amount of saving. Same thing we're doing with housing. We're building more affordable housing for Canadians. And we're, we're, we're giving them more options uh, towards home ownership as well as deeply affordable housing. These are the kinds of things we're doing. But through Budget 2022, it's also about it's affordable uh, affordability issues, housing, and uh, making sure that we create more jobs through economic development opportunities 
um, uh, making sure that more and more people have a chance to succeed, investing in young people's ability to obtain a new skill, sponsoring apprenticeships and new training programs for, for many Canadians. That's how you enable Canadians to succeed. When you invest in people and you invest in communities, then they can get the training and the skills necessary to succeed, right? Right, that's correct. Minister, and that also uh, attracts investment. When investors come oh, yeah. to Canada, they know that we have an open immigration system that welcomes people from around the world. They know that we're investing in the capacity of Canadians to do those jobs. They know that we are investing in childcare. They know that we're investing in housing. It's very difficult to attract uh, smart people to come and help us grow our economy if they don't have anywhere to live, right? So investing in housing, housing is seen as a problem, but it's also an economic opportunity. Uh, when you when you tackle housing, you're unlocking economic opportunity for local communities. Bueno, a mí no me queda más que agradecer el favor de tu atención. Gracias a todos por estar pendientes de nuestro contenido y por seguirnos pues en estas transmisiones que tenemos, en estas entrevistas, porque obviamente tenemos entrevistas con información importante directamente de la fuente que la genera. En este caso, el gobierno federal, eh, pues representado aquí por el eh, ministro de Casa e Inclusión, también del gobierno federal, Ahmed Hussein, quien nos explicaba este pues estos beneficios nuevos que se están aplicando al nuevo presupuesto 2022, donde más personas que no han adquirido su vivienda, pues pueden tener acceso, pueden tener ahora sí que con mayor seguridad, con este apoyo que nos acaba de informar. Así que yo quiero invitarlos nuevamente a que se suscriban a nuestras redes sociales. Estamos en Facebook, en Twitter, en Instagram, en YouTube, nuestra página web, no lo olviden, canadalatinchannel.com, porque estamos entrevistando funcionarios públicos que tiene noticias importantes, no solamente del gobierno federal, de todas las provincias y de todos los sectores que también que tienen noticias importantes. Nosotros, comprometidos con ustedes, con la comunidad latina, pues traemos esta información y lo mejor en tu idioma, en el idioma español. Lo dicho, yo soy Héctor Chaparro y gracias por estar nuevamente y por seguirnos en estas transmisiones, en estas entrevistas. No olviden suscribirse y darle like a nuestras páginas para que no te pierdas ningún contenido. Por mi parte, yo les deseo un muy bonito día, muy bonita noche, tarde, día. Cualquier hora que tú le des play a este video, que tengan, pues, un muy bonito día. Nos vemos.